Today I'm taking you to the Russian hospital. I will do MRI and I will explain you about medical system in Russia. I need to go around the hospital because the main entrance is closed due to renovation of this big clinic. They're going to make it very nice and beautiful. The only MRI unit is open now. It is here, yay! MRI of brain. Let's do it. While I'm waiting to be invited for inside the MRI room, I can explain you about price and how you can do it. So if you don't have government insurance here in Russia, you always can go private and uh, you can go to the government hospital and uh, do it with money actually. It's available for everyone. And the price for MRI or head MRI in my hospital if is 5,000 rubles, which is like $60. I think it is incredibly cheap compared to what you can get in other countries. 15 minutes of MRI techno party is done. I tried to take you inside the MRI room but um, and take a selfie for you but the nurse said I cannot do this so let me show you the rest of the hospital originally it's an old Soviet built polyklinica that's how we call it here in Russia like a city clinic that you it's not a hospital you cannot be treated here for serious illnesses and now currently it's under renovation so it looks like this a lot of little details that will improve this hospital this part is actually from soviet times wow guys look at this it says there is densitometria. It's like uh, checking your bones place. It's completely empty right now. Look at this Soviet style wooden floor. And this sink is completely from Soviet era. Hi. There are some people, renovation workers, I suppose, who finished the shift so they are leaving this is what's uh, supposed to be first level the main gate the main entrance you can see a lot of um, construction materials and stuff like that so soon it's going to look very different and amazing this is average soviet style interior design this kind of marble and then old tiles wooden doors I was here before they started this renovation and it was not pretty bad I mean it's a little bit old yeah but it was still very efficient and it's kind of cozy, like uh, you visiting Babushka flat 
but it wasn't so bad. It was just alright. They started to renovate it in December 2023 and they aim to finish it in a year. You need to get an appointment with general practitioner doctor. In my clinic, the cost is 1,500 rubles if you are without any government insurance, right? So then if you have certain symptoms, your doctor would uh, recommend you to do some test or visit another type of doctor. So for example, I visited the therapist, the general practitioner on Sunday and then immediately I got an appointment for neurologist doctor, which took only a couple of days to get. And then after neurologist, she told me like, oh, you better do a brain MRI. So I immediately got an appointment in one day. So I don't have to wait for weeks and months to get it. I just paid 1,500 rubles per appointment and then I got my appointment for MRI very quick, just uh, in one day. And then I have to wait for my results only two days. And this all done in literally one week, the whole procedure from therapist to get in your MRI result because I've heard that in the Western countries it is so much uh, difficult to get it all done so I guess maybe even recommend you to come to Russia and get some checkups done because it's actually affordable in here when i will go next time to the doctor i will take you to the new clinic because as this clinic is currently closed um, they transferred uh, all patients to uh, another clinic and the clinic that i go right now has been renovated already and it's very very nice i really like to go there even though i have to pay for the visit i literally just like to go there because it's very new it's very nicely done this is some kind of british british pub they want some beers if you don't have access to nice and renovated hospital in Russia, you always can go to private clinics that are widely available and prices to do some tests there. They are not expensive. For example, to do a full blood test work, like a clinical test and biochemistry, or I don't know how to call it in English, I paid around almost 7,000 uh, Russian rubles, which is less than $100. And it's just the uh, same day appointment. You just go there without making any calls. You just uh, get it done and get results to your email address in one single day. Yes, it is very efficient. And very nice if I would go to do MRI in private uh, laboratory like we have a very popular clinics called in vitro I checked the price right now so it would cost me 5,600 rubles which is a little bit more than going to the uh, government hospital which is amazing like it's very easy to get to take some care of your health just got back home now finally so i don't know what happened to me but recently i started to have a dizzy head almost every day 
I have a little helicopters in my head and I don't have any pain whatsoever. It's very annoying because I just cannot take a painkiller pill and forget about it. Like, I don't know what's wrong because um, I do a pretty much uh, light and healthy lifestyle right now. Like, I do not smoke or do alcohol every day. I eat quite okay, quite healthy, right? Just occasional McDonald's, you know. I do not overwork myself. Like, I don't have to wake up 6 a.m. and do hard job. I go to gym. Like, I'm not laying down all days. <laughs> like, I, I like to exercise. So, I don't know uh, what causes this, like, helicopters, right? So, I went to doctor and she said that my blood work is pretty okay. I don't have a blood pressure. My blood pressure is like average. I do not have a high sugar. I have a slight um, iron deficiency. And that's it. And doctor said it cannot cause a severe dizzy head. Your blood work is okay. So don't worry. You have to go to a neurologist and check your like what's inside your brain basically and um, yeah and a couple of months ago i went to neck mri to see like maybe it's neck problem and yeah i i slightly have um some problems with uh, my neck like osteochondrosis but i don't know like is it that bad I'm not really like old babushka to have such kind of problems, you know, so I'm just trying to figure it out. Uh, my doctor just gave me these cute little mixtures, something like that. <laughs> they are very, they are pinkish color. They are very cute. It's like a stimulate the blood circulation in your brain so right and yeah the medicine is very expensive in russia right now i told you a lot of good things about medical system in, in russia overall but the bad situation we have it right now is that um the medicine is actually imported from somewhere so this one is uh turkish and like the pack of it is like ten dollars we don't have um foreign pills right now that are less than ten dollars guys this is expensive i remember a few years ago the prices were so much lower and this is like now it is expensive so these pills they are from germany it's like also ten dollars or something even more than ten dollars so to buy like medicine is more expensive than uh, to go to doctor's appointment which is like crazy every time you go to the pharmacy like twenty dollars thirty dollars fifty dollars like crazy i think this video is long enough so when i will go next time to the russian hospital to the new one to the new renovated one i want to do a separate video about it if you want to see it please write me down below in the comments about it also i want to know how much it would cost to do a brand mri in your country and how long you should wait for that it's going to be very interesting to know right so also you can let me down below in the comments i hope i will get better soon so i will go to the eye doctor and uh, another doctor like a ear and nose doctor otolaryngologist or something so yeah i will keep you updated guys it's all good i will be fine hopefully 
<laughs> so thank you so much guys for being with me here until the end of this video please subscribe like and share and i will see you very soon in my next one